in the energy quadrant after a 0.69% gap higher on Friday that ended with a lower close, crude oil heads down for a second consecutive day. Now, by down, I mean versus the opening price. Today, we were down versus Friday's close, but on Friday, we were actually slightly higher than Thursday's close, but it still ended up lower. So if you look at a chart, for example, a candlestick chart, you'll see two red candles or two down candles, despite it being a positive change on the day. Now, if you include today's close, which is down about 78 basis points or so, it takes us almost exactly to the close on Thursday, January 11th at about 72.02, which is where we had the gap higher from in the first place. On the high today, up 1.21%, 73.56. The low today was down over 2%, 71.23. So it just feels like general weakness, at least after these two days. Now, there could be that bullish sentiment might be starting to build up. Red Sea attacks and a cold snap may have boosted some bullish sentiment in crude oil. We have continued Red Sea attacks that are making headlines and some circles, investing circles, are starting to talk about taking potential long positions in crude oil. And again, you combine that with the heating oil demand we saw from the cold snap up north and you could see how that could actually come to pass, although there's nothing showing up in the CFTC report as of yet, still looking like we're overwhelmingly on the short side. But we also had some dollar strength today versus commodity based currencies and really all the majors. But when you look at the yields early this morning, yields were actually flat to slightly lower. But now you take where they are coming into the close and they really took a leap higher. The 10 year is actually at 4.08%. That's up 12 basis points. That's a recovery in one session of all of last week's drop, which was eight basis points. Same thing in the five year, it's up 13 basis points down 12 last week. Again, that's up 13 basis points just today. So all of that makes for a stronger dollar, which is generally a headwind to commodities, and that definitely put some pressure on crude oil as the day went on.